Hi guys, Andy here. Now, I'm actually really quite excited to do this unboxing and to just get using this phone um, because I don't remember being there being as much hype about a budget phone as there is about the Pocophone F1 by Xiaomi. As I can, I mean, almost by any phone, there's just so much hype for this device. I was on a website, and I, I was really annoyed because I should have took a screenshot or at least written down kind of which website it was or linked to it because it had um, kind of a, a list at the side of the website uh, about what phones had been searched for for information. And the Pocket Phone was at the top um, with twice as much as anything else. I think the Note 9 was second. And that, that summed it up. And I should have, like I said, I should have took a screenshot so I could have stuck it on the video to show you. But trust me, well, you're probably here because you know about the hype. So why is there so much hype for this Pocophone F1? Um, it's basically down to the hardware that it's packed into it. So I have paid £250 for this from eGlobal. It came in eight days, eight calendar of days, so that's like five or six working days, which I was really impressed with. I'm used to having to wait kind of three or four weeks for, for sort of cheap um, budget phones. When I say cheap, I mean you could pay 300 odd for this on other websites. So 250 was a really good buy, but it came in eight days, so fantastic. It's the first time I've used eGlobal. I've no idea what they're like if things go wrong, um, but worked out for me in this instance. So why the hype? For a £250 phone, the headline is this thing has a Snapdragon 845 in it. A Snapdragon 845, that's the latest. That's the newest. That's in my Note 9. That, no, it's not, because I've got the Exodus in that, sorry. that It is in the Note 9, though, in the US version. Um, it's in uh, the Xperia XZ2 that I reviewed a couple of weeks ago, if you remember that. It's just, it is the top end chipset. And it's in a £250 phone. Um, some of the other specs, while we're talking about it though, so it's got an octa core uh, processor, 4x2.8GHz Cryo 385 Gold, and 4x1.8GHz Cryo 385 Silver. Okay, it's got the Adreno 630, which I'm fairly sure is the most recent GPU. It's got 6 gig of RAM in this version, because I've got the 64 gig version. It's got liquid cooling. <laughs> it's got stereo speakers. It's got a 3.5 mil jack. Um, it's got a rear-mounted fingerprint sensor. It's got infrared face recognition. It's a it's a flagship. I mean, it's specced up as a flagship device for 250 pounds. And that's why I'm excited. Can it really be, can it live up to the hype? Because, well, I'm hyping it myself now. That's Those specs are impressive. They are really impressive. So this is the moment. Now I've seen a few videos of it, obviously, because because there's so much hype, I've been watching a few, and I'll mention a couple of the drawbacks that some of the videos have pointed out, but I'm still quite, oh, it's teasing me, look. It's a really nice box. So, Xiaomi generally do do, I don't know I'm showing up to the big camera, it's gonna be much better than this camera. They do do nice, uh, nice packaging, and that it's a really nice box. So maybe it's sort of top end packaging as well. There she is. So, warning: she does have a notch. If you don't like him with a notch, this might not be for you. So that I mean that initial impression is that is that does feel quite heavy. So it's 180 grams. And I suppose, yeah, so I know my Note 9, which we've got next to it here, is uh, 201 grams. And yeah, I guess I can feel my Note 9 is a bit heavier, but it does feel, does feels a reasonable weight, reasonable weight. Um, some of the things that I've just mentioned, oh, actually, some things I didn't. So there's another big one, look, 4,000 milliamp hour high capacity battery with Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0, all through a USB Type-C connector. Um, an auto uh, AI dual camera, dual pixel autofocus, 20 megapixel front facing camera. I'm not sure what. So the rumor is that the Pixel 3 or 3XL or one of them will have like a 20 megapixel or it'll do like super selfies or something like that. Are we are we in that place now? Is it? I mean, I, I'm not gonna. I like a selfie. I like a selfie as the next, just as much as the next teenage girl does. But 20 megapixels though. 
can you really get the quality out of a front-facing camera that you can from the rear? I, I don't know. Well, I guess we'll. I guess we'll see. I guess that's why. I guess that's why I've bought this phone for us to answer these questions. Um, okay, so it's got a cover over the. Let's just pull that off. Uh, drop it in the box. Let's just quickly check what else is in the box now. Bit of a downer. They did, or oh, put it on the floor. They did include a converter, but obviously it's just Type C. So, you know, I've got a couple of Type C cables knocking around already. That's, I'm not really, that will just live in the box like that. Don't need it. We've got the pin ejection tool. Again, I've got a few of them laying around the place, and I'm, I'd be fairly sure that's, that's everything. Um, I suppose I should have a quick look at what, what we had in. Oh, it's a case. I like. I do like how Xiaomi do that. So they've included a case with the actual device. And let's just. I mean, it. It's not super solid. But I don't think you need super solid. I think you need just to take a bit of the impact off it. Should you drop it? Let's just pop it on in there. Even though we've got the protective bit still. Oh, it's a good fit. It's feels like it's a bit flush on the screen so you're not going to get any protection putting it face down but that's fine let's just take it back off for the moment so what else do we have in there a user guide i think i'm gonna be okay thanks very much sim card tray so i think we're getting the whole dual sim you can have dual sim or you can have a sim and an sd card uh yeah why not i'm kind of Part of me says all these people that bleat on about SD cards like, come on, use the cloud. But and I and I do. But at the same time, I kind of I do understand. I do understand. I'm kind of some people they just like their whole music collection of like 200 gig on their phone. I mean that take you a month to listen to all that non-stop. Why do you need it all in one go? Anyway, but I, I do get it. I do get it. So let's just peel off the other protection. If we can, I feel like that's a tab. Is that a tab there? But it's not. oh yeah, yep. Yeah, there we go. So there we go. A bit of some weird bits of hair. So there is the dual camera and the fingerprint sensor, and the flash. It's quite a simple design, but at the same time, quite a nice design, I would say. Uh, the bezels are reasonably small. I mean, we'll see. I'm going to start it booting up, I suppose. I think there we go. Oh, yellow to match the box. That's quite. That's quite cool, isn't it? I'm easily amused, me. So um, it's, I think I said already. It's eight point eight millimeters thin or thick. It comes in uh, the colours: graphite black, steel blue, obviously this one, rosso red, and an armoured edition with Kevlar. That's the one. If you watch him, another YouTuber has got what's his name unbox therapy maybe i think he's got the kevlar one so you could watch i've watched a couple of his vids um so the oh okay so well i'm sure we've got a notch but it's decided not to use it there we go now we see the notch look that's quite big i think it's quite iphone-y as well isn't it see the pixel 3 xl is getting a lot of grief for its for its notch um but that's thinner. The Pixel the Pixel 3 XL is a thin notch, but it is a bit deeper. I'm not gonna not gonna lie, it's a bit deeper. Uh oh, hang on, we've got a languages. Yeah, okay, we're fine. Um Whereas that's quite wide. Probably if you measured the actual square millimeterage, they're probably not that different. I think I think I can live with a notch, I think. Well, we'll see, I suppose. So is there anything else kind of hard? So the screen, let's talk about the screen briefly. It's a six point one eight inches uh IPS LCD, the screen to body ratio is about 82.2%, which is pretty good. So there's a bit of a chin, not much. And obviously there's a notch up at the top. And then there is a bit of bezel around the sides. 82.2 is pretty good as, as percentages, screen to body ratios go. Uh, it is a 2246 by 1080 pixels. So that's 18.7 by nine ratio. Uh, and about 403 pixels print, which again, I think is fine. I think the whole pixels print thing gets way over. My Note 9 can go up to 515. It's, 
it's just, I think it's unnecessary personally. I have it running in 1080p mode almost all the time in my Note 9. So yeah, this one being 1080p I think is fine. We've mentioned the cameras. In the specs, so the, the back camera can do 4K video at 30 frames per second. It says it can do 1080p at 240 frames per second. Seems very fast, but then I mean, it's, it has got a Snapdragon 845, so in some ways, why not? Uh, we've mentioned the battery and the connectivity, so I think that's most of the spec-wise software, which we're kind of we're kind of getting into now. I'm just going to pick my. Well, well, I think we'll come to that. So what I'll do, I'll get logged in onto everything, um, get a couple of bits installed, and then I will come back to you. So. I've installed a few things. Um, I have dashed outside, taken a few photos. I've tried not to use it too much, really, because I prefer to do that kind of with you guys. Uh, what I can tell you is, whoa, this thing, this thing seems very good. Now, I want to be a little cautious because I remember I had a similar reaction when I tried the Nokia 5. I was like, oh my God, it's like a stock Android. This is 100 pounds and it's so slick. And then as I installed all my apps um, and I used it for a few days, it started to slow down. Now, I don't think that's going to happen to the Poco phone because it's got 6 gig of RAM, it's got a Snapdragon 845 in it, it's got 64 gig of storage, it's got 2.8 gigahertz processor, it ticks all the boxes. I'm really, I'm really impressed so far, I'm really impressed. So, let's show you a little bit um, of what I've done. Well, actually, do you know what? Because I'm, I'm too excited. I want to. I want to run Geekbench. So, as you can see, look, I've not actually opened it just yet. So, it's Geek, I've moved on to Geekbench four now. Um, it is a bit slower, so we might have to kind of jump through on the edit. But at the same time, I'm hoping it's going to be quite quick. Um, what we could do while that's happening, I'll talk you through some of the pictures. So, I took a few photos. Um, we're starting off with uh, just one of the back garden. It seems pretty good. They've done a good job. Sometimes it's quite hard. I mean, it's it's quite dull actually outside, but the sky can sometimes overpower the um, the ground basically, and just kind of darken everything. But I think I think that's actually a really good photo of what can be quite a tricky picture. Um, and then took another one just down the side of the building. Pretty dull, but gives you a bit of. As you can see there actually, the sky is a bit overblown. You don't see any clouds in that picture because it's going to be a bit darker because where I was. Then. At the front, again, I think that's pretty good. The clouds got some good detail. The ground's got good detail. The ground's still all dead from our very hot summer. But you know, it's the, that red—is um, it a voxel? It's nice, nice and bright. That that red pops. It did tell me something about artificial intelligence scene detection, which the Note Nine has as well, actually. Um, <laughs> but so does this 250-pound Xiaomi, and it, you do th see things changing. We'll, you'll see it more in the video in a moment. Uh, I also took a, just a picture of some kind of half dead flower things. Um, I did notice actually it, it, it water stamps all my photos initially. I might have clipped it out by the time I put it into the video or cropped it out. But it says at the bottom left corner, Pocophone, shot on Pocophone F1. You can go into the settings, you can turn that off and, and get rid of it. It's not a problem. It's, I was a bit surprised when I first saw it. What's going on here? Uh, what I have done to that photo is I've cropped it down so it's. 1920 by 1080 so you should be looking at it kind of one-to-one -one, pixel to pixel wise um, just to really get an impression that's you know that's the hundred percent image I think it looks pretty good I suppose it's, it's, it's a good thing there's a bit of the old bokeh or whatever they call it so the the outer focusy background behind the flowers um, I think the top middle yellow flowers what it actually focused on and I think generally that looks that looks pretty good that looks uh, reasonably crisp I didn't know there was a little insect on the one and down the bottom middle, see that? <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, because this is, this is the thing with Xiaomi. Normally, you're not going to get a very good camera, but initial impressions are it seemed pretty good. I then took, obviously, a quick selfie on the old 20 megapixel a super selfie camera. It's not a super selfie camera, I just made that up. Regular one. Then I tried the portrait mode, which looks okay. It's a bit hard because my shiny forehead kind of is a bit shiny so you, you can't really see how well it's in fact it's, yeah I don't know we'll have to do more testing is needed on that I think then I did do a bit of video um, and this is where you'll see what I assume is the AI changing all the sort of settings so it's kind of a little muted at this point probably a bit more real to be honest and you see how green it goes there <laughs> wow proper stepped it up but again looks looks good I would say 
Um, same out the front, there's good detail in the clouds still, the red of the car is, is still popping um, and, the, and the grass is still dead. So, I don't know, what, what normally is the weak point of a budget phone? And it is just very early days on just a few pictures. That looks alright, that looks pretty good. Um, I mean, I would maybe even put that up against the XZ2, the Xperia, which is a bit of a surprise. And as I'm talking, the result was quite well timed actually. Uh, the result was coming for Keybench 4. <laughs> that's 8,900 on a 250 pound phone. That is that is impressive, I think. Impressive. So, very good. Um, then to what is often the other sort of weak point of, a, I wouldn't say budget phone, of a Xiaomi phone, if I'm quite honest. And that's the software. I generally don't get on with it. Back in the day, sort of back in the day, uh, three years ago, four years ago, when I first started buying Xiaomi's, they just, they just weren't reliable. I would be not getting notifications. I use Hangouts quite a lot. I just wouldn't get a notification. Um, they just did it. I don't know. Maybe they didn't play very nicely with Google servers. And I think they have changed things now. They they play a lot nicer generally. So it's not as big an issue. And this the software on this one is so it's MIUI 9.6, but with Poco customization, which I don't know exactly what that means, but. I get kind of a bit more of a sort of a stock feeling. Oh, I'm not sure what that is. That's not Google now, so that's obviously something that Xiaomi's done. But I like just things like, you know, the swipe up. I like the sort of, so that's quite stock looking. We have got this side swipe to bring up, which, why is the camera not? The camera's not in photography or tools. Okay, interesting. But I'm sure we can, yeah, we can remove, hide. Yeah, fine, whatever. I don't want lifestyle. Let's hide that right off the bat. Um, I think that's, I, yeah, I quite like that actually. That's interesting. I like the icon set. They're all sort of quite, look at those. They're, they're quite sort of neat, quite cool. I am already getting a bit of a hint that maybe the screen is not super powerful. Again, that can often be the case on a budget phone. So let's crank the brightness right the way up. Yeah, I mean, that's not bad. It's a bit hard because the camera, the camera you're looking at is going to kind of adjust. But you see how dark this is all gone because the screen is actually quite bright. Um, I will get my light meter on. If you've not seen my reviews before, um, I do try and be kind of scientific about something. So I've got a light meter to check the screen. I've got a uh, decibel meter to check the speakers. Um, what else have I got? I don't know, maybe, maybe that's it. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so I will go, this is just the unboxing. A lot of people comment on my unboxing, oh, great review. It's not a review, we're just having a quick first look. Um, so even there, the notifications, they're all, they're all quite sort of, that's quite sort of stock looking. So we've got an update waiting. I've learned my lesson. What was it I updated? The ZX XZ2 perhaps. It took like an hour to update. So I'm not doing that. I'll do, I'll do the other bits and pieces after. So I do want to have a look and a listen to some YouTube. So let's see what, oh, let's see. I'm not going to update it just now. Let's go in as me. Uh, I want something that's quite nice and bright, really, to be honest. Still a bit of Mr. Who's the Boss. What's going on, guys? And today I'm going to show you how to apply a screen protector, which you'd think would be a simple Ooh. task, but it really isn't. And I've seen so many horror stories, even in the last week of this. I think we're going to try and prevent dust falling on your smartphone's screen whilst you're applying the screen protector. And for most people, this is going to be the bathroom. So, so it has got the pinch to zoom, you see that? To make use of the 18.7 by 9 screen ratio. Um, that looks good. The speakers, I think, I mean, again, I don't know how well they come across on my microphone, desk microphone here, but they sound, they sound pretty good. Uh, they sound quite loud. They sound, there's a little bit of bass in there. They sound like, well, not bass, I call it rounded. So it's quite a rounded sound. It's not like a teeny high pitched squeaky thing. It's, it's a reasonably well rounded sound. And the screen itself, uh, we're not in, we're not in the best example just now, but that, that I would say that still looks. Maybe we're not on the best video at this point. The truth about the pocket phone F one. Oh, it's Marcus Brownie. I do actually want to watch this video at some point. So I mean, the viewing angles. That's, I don't think that's bad. That's not bad. I don't think there's much of a is there much of a color shift. I don't think so. The view it does go off 
quite quick. I don't again. I don't know how well that's showing in the video. I think I think that's acceptable on a, on a budget device. I mean, some people say it happens on Pixel Two XLs, um, but that screen generally, I would say that's that's a pretty good looking screen. So I think the last thing to have a quick, very quick look at is kind of the software version and all that sort of thing. Oh, about phones at the top there. Look, about phone. So as I think I said, Android eight point one. Uh, MIUI for Poco 9.6 stable. I don't know if there's anything else there you wanna you wanna see. Confirmation of the RAM being six gig. Look, um, so it is a little bit Xiaomi-ified in the settings, which uh, well we'll see. That's that's I think that's really more for the the review to talk about. So this it, I mean it feels a nice phone it feels good in the hand the build quality as is generally the case with Xiaomi it feels very good I'm picking up hairs from somewhere maybe it's off my felt oh, everything everything so far this is looking a really good device this is looking kind of five or six hundred pounds worth quality I think that's just kind of and it's very early days I need to use it a bit more which is what the review will be all about so hopefully you've enjoyed this unboxing um, i've just set myself up as android andy uk on instagram so please follow me there i've only got about 30 or so followers um it'd be nice if the more people there because you, you get sort of hints of phones that are incoming and videos that are incoming uh, so do sign up there if you don't subscribe please do if you want there'll be um more so there'll be like video tests uh there'll be head to heads i want to put this up against the motorola g6 which i think is going to trounce but let's do it because they're similar price brackets um, so if you want to see more stuff around the pocket phone, obviously the review, please subscribe. Maybe even all of the YouTubers will say, click that bell. You want to be ringing that bell when I release a video, you get notified. Fantastic. Um, anyway, do leave me your thoughts in the comments down below if you have any questions for the review or about the device specifically. Um, and I've just realized I didn't mention one of the things I was going to have mentioned about software is this kind of uh, controversy about the HDR Netflix. The headline there is you can't watch 1080p Netflix or HD in any version. You've got to watch 540p. Um, you can in YouTube. Again, there'll be more about this in the review, to be honest. But just that's one thing to be aware of. And I want to do a, probably do a video on how how big a factor is that. I'll put it up, maybe up against my Note 9 with the two Netflixes running, and we'll see if we really can see any difference. Um, interesting if we can't anyway let's not speculate let's let's wait and do it so any questions you have drop them in the comments down below i will either answer i tried to reply to almost all comments um or i might include it in the review video uh, but for now my name's andy and i'll catch you all again soon well done and thank you for making it to the end of the video hopefully you enjoyed it if you did you might want to click the little fellow that should hopefully appear about here to subscribe um, you may also want to check out some of my other videos, which are going to appear somewhere there. Um, also, come and have a look at my website, androidandy.uk. Um, there is also a forum. Come and say hello on the forum if you've got any questions about things or requests for me to review things or anything else. Just come and have a chat on the forum.